and gentlemen. Is this on? Yes, it's on, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for being late. We have had a busy day today. We have covered the great state of uh, Georgia. I might say to you that uh, this train, the Lady Bird Special, left Washington three days ago. It's been a sentimental journey <coughs> through the whole South. We have had magnificent crowds everywhere because Mrs. Johnson, the first lady of our land, is one of us, a southerner just like you and like me. And I want all of you to welcome my head. This is our this is our first stop in the great state of Florida. We are happy to be here. We are happy to be here, and our time is limited. We are late, and it's my pleasure to present to you one of the great ladies of this country, Mrs. Lyndon Johnson. Friends, friends, y'all are mighty nice to wait for us. The reason we're so late is because all the way from Washington to Florida, we've been finding bigger and bigger enthusiastic crowds all along the way, and it's just hard to make time. I wanted to make this trip because this is a part of the country that I know and love. Ever since I was, from the time that I was five years old till I was 21, I visited every summer in the neighboring state of Alabama, and many times I visited in Florida. And I wanted to come and tell our friends here that we value them, we appreciate them, we need them, we thank them. My husband, Lyndon, came to be your president 10 months ago under the most tragic circumstances. And since then, he's had three things on his mind for all you mamas and papas and all you children. The things that he's wanted most is to keep our country strong and at peace because that is what means everything for the future of all of us. And next, he's tried to keep this country on a course of stable prosperity. And I think most of us know that we are doing pretty good on that now. And thirdly, he wants to seek for compassionate, imaginative ways to help those Americans who are still in need. I want my Southern friends to know that we thank you for believing in us, for working for us, for helping us. I'm sorry we are this late. And thank you. That's the kind of greeting we've been hearing all along the way. And God bless you for saying that. <laughs> And now, and now, j uh, just just for a wave and a word, I want my Lucy Baines to say hello. I just wanted to come up here and thank all of you for all these great homemade signs and tell you how much it really does mean to us that you took the time to care. And I just hope the kind of enthusiasm that you've shown here today can be channeled this fall into a eventful and hopefully successful campaign. Thank you, much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have one of your own fine citizens, Mrs. Genevieve Sauls, who is the district chairman of the Democratic Committee, and she's going to make a presentation to the First Lady of our land. Ms. Sauls? On behalf of the people of Jefferson County, whose heritage of democracy and Southern tradition dates back 150 years. We would like to present these cassages to you and your daughter. These flowers were picked from one of our home gardens this morning, and we pride ourselves on these beautiful winter-blooming blossoms. Turn this way, Miss Hall, so we can take a picture. Miss. That's it. Go ahead. Uh, Miss Hall's auditor, thank us. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Ladies so and gentlemen, let me present one or two people who are here on the train with us and who have been with us all along. We have the distinguished Secretary of Commerce, 
the former governor of the great state of North Carolina, the Honorable Luther Hodges. Luther, Luther take a bow. Where's uh, the governor of Tennessee? Well, Buford Ellington is with us, too, and many other people. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are sorry that we're late, but let me say this to you as we prepare to leave, because we're doing Tallahassee, and your congressman and many others are getting aboard the train now. This has been a wonderful trip. I come from Louisiana. I am as Southern as anybody standing out there in that crowd, and I am proud of it. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson was born and reared in the South. And President Johnson is the first Southern president we have had since the war between the states. And do you know, do you know that states like Maine and Vermont and New Hampshire, which have never voted Democratic, are going to vote overwhelmingly for Lyndon Johnson? Do you know that Arizona is going to vote for Lyndon Johnson? Do you know, do you know that Texas is going to vote for Lyndon Johnson? Do you have any doubt about Florida, a southern state? God bless you. It's wonderful to be with you. And goodbye and good night and thank you for coming. <laughs>